So welcome friends. Now we are going to talk about railway stocks. Railway stocks, or mostly all the stock has fallen around 30 to 40 percent from the top. And many investors are asking about that. And this question has been asked by uh, Rahul uh, Venkatama. Uh, Akbar and uh, Sham has asked you know, to review railway stocks and can they buy RVNL and uh, Titagra Railway? These are some of the questions they are asking. So let us talk about various stocks in railway and uh, at this level of what you should do because these stocks have fallen a lot and you know that from last three years, five years, they had a great rally over the time. Almost all the stocks, if we talk about, you know, uh, I'm going to talk about almost eight stocks today, RVNL, Iricon, uh, Tax Meco Rail, Titagra, Jupiter, IRFC, IRCTC, and Rights. These are some of the railway specific stock we are going to talk about today and understand what is the valuation and what is the growth and whether the current valuation is justified to invest more or not in this stock. And that is what we are going to talk about. So talking about that, guys, if you see all these railway stocks from last five years and three years, if you see the returning stock price have given a very very good return you know in last three years most of the stock only if you talk about ircTC ircTC you know that when it got listed it has gone up to you know around 1800 after that it has not given a great return but other than bearing that all the seven stock has given more than 25 percent CAGI return even when we talk about five years return is also good of almost all the stocks and that shows you know, that type of bull run has happened in railway stocks and justified you know, because you know, government is focusing a lot in railway and they want to create a good infrastructure surrounding railway at the end of the day guys they railway is one of the cheapest mode of transportation and in order to bring your cost down at a country level you know, for the cost of production and all that railway can play a big role and that's why they are focusing much on railway so that no less dependence is there on the by road and railway can come forward and contribute a lot so of course all these stocks is in focus over there and narendra modi uh, no always used to say that railway is that one of the prime focus defense railway uh, green energy and psu this are the focus so Last time we have spoken about defense. So, guys, if you have not seen that video, please go and check it out whether you should invest in the defense stock now or not. So, talking about railway stock, guys, of course, because of big tailwind, the stocks has gone up in last few years. But now, what is the situation? The situation is happened that no, because it has run up so much, now it's like a breathing time and these stocks has fallen a lot. It's not that all the after the election, no, you can say defense, railway, and whichever the government favorite, no, renewable PS to fall on a lot. But now it is reaching at a level where everyone is thinking whether we should invest or not. And uh, kindly, so because see, at the end of the day, if you see the prices which has gone up, as I told you, you know, in last one year also, many of the stock got double also. So if we, if I see here, the P ratio, P ratio, I, I'll not talk about IRFC here because it's a financial institution, but P ratio of all this company, if you I see three years average, it's almost double or one and a half times. So P ratio has expanded a lot and P ratio gone up a lot. Like if you talk about RVNL, it is currently 16 and P. When I see a three years P, it is around 19. So think almost three times, okay, more than three times. Econ almost 20 uh, P is there currently. Normally the three years average is 10, so almost double year. Texmeco uh, is 42, uh, three years average 16, and that thought of come over because their EPS has gone up. Overall, if you see Titagra and Jupiter, both has gone up, but not so much like we are RVNL or Econ. See, honestly speaking, Texmeco, Titagra, and Jupiter wagon, this these are engineering companies and these are in a much, much better position if we talk about the valuation perspective because you know, they actually that the eps and growth has come okay uh and uh even, even if i see irfc you know the 7p has gone to almost 31p ircTC that has not gone up that is almost stagnant and rights has also almost doubled from the uh, three years i so when we talk about the profitable now as i told you that everyone's p ratio is one and a half time to two times that means 
your sales growth and profitability growth should catch up with the valuation it should also go fast otherwise it will not sustain this high p ratio may not sustain which is happening currently now this is after 30 percent 40 percent fall i am talking about like this p ratio i am talking about after this fall so that is see why i am talking about all this because you have to understand the valuation at what these companies are trading Okay, unless you are not able to pick the right valuation, you are going to invest in a stock, but then it may go down um, again 20-30%. And that's why you should be careful and understand whether now it's reached at a optimum level or a comfort level where we you can go and invest. See, now as I told you like this, the way the XP is expanded, but let us see the growth in last few years. So when we talk about, we have spoken about last three years, but in this three year P, when we see the profit growth CAGR of railway, let us talk about directly profit growth is almost 16%, Ericon 33, Texmeco 110, Titagra Rail 181, then Jupiter 84%. So almost 80, 110, this type of percentage growth is coming for Texmeco, Titagra, Jupiter. And that's why there is a valuation comfort. Ke, haan bhai, profit bhi apka grow ho hai. No doubt your P ratio has gone up, your profit is also growing. It's not only price is going up. They cook, uh, again, IRFC only 13. So RVNL, IRFC is not so great. IRCTC 94, that has grown over the time and rights only 2%. There also profit not gone up. Now, see guys, why I'm talking about this is that engineering company is giving a comfort that, okay, your valuation is going up plus your EPS is also going up. That is okay. But if only price is going up because of, uh, you can say, you no know, the government push and everyone is excited about the, you can say the, uh, sorry, railway stocks and they are just buying, buying. So what happens if P expansion happens, the EPS is not going, then it may not sustain. It will come down. Any high valuation need to be sustained with a good profitability growth and the revenue growth. And that is what you have to keep in mind. Okay. But when we talk about RVNL, RVNL ka P three times okay, but your profit growth is only 16%. Ircon also 33%. Ircon may chalo, to be better, but I, RVNL, there is an issue that you have to keep in mind. Now, again, the let us understand how was the result currently. Okay. Uh, not all the results are out, but uh, I'm just, if uh, I've taken a last quarter result, if the result is not out, just for a disclaimer. So when we talk about Ircon, uh, sorry, RVNL and Ircon, both are construction company. Now, for both of them, year on year, there is a decrease in revenue and the profitability. Okay, uh, RVNL, there is a decrease of growth of uh, sales growth of 25% year on year. Even the profit growth is minus 35%. But when we talk about Ircon, there are also 17% degrowth in sales. Ah, yeah, profit is gone up by 20%. But quarter on quarter, so quarter on quarter, see, uh, a good company will always grow quarter on quarter basis. So when we talk about RVNL, both are decreased by almost RVNL, Ircon, uh, both have decreased by almost 40%. Now, this type of degrowth is happening. Even the profitability is also fallen. Now, when you have this type of situation, that's a worrying situation. But when we talk about Texmeco, Titagra, Jupiter, no, there you can, there I can see a year on year, there is a good growth, especially in Texmeco railway. And on again, the quarter and quarter growth is there. Jupiter may degrowth, but other uh, Texmeco and Titagra is having a quarter to quarter growth also. So that is an interesting situation here because when you have a quarter to quarter growth also that is adding that okay company is doing good okay quarter to quarter growth on a bothy achieves again year on year growth is there so that you have to keep in mind that these three companies are still at least they are able to provide a good result when i see irfc and irctc two percent growth four percent growth this is how it is so unka bhi itna great nahi hai. rights is again degrowth on year on year basis and quarter on quarter basis. Now, when you have this type of situation where I'm talking about the degrowth, wherever is happening, that is why it will be very, very difficult to sustain at this level. So I'm not saying that you cannot buy RVNL or Ircon or rights and all that. But if your quarter to quarter growth is coming negative on year on year growth, I think you should wait, let it get settled because at the end of the day, you don't know where it is going to serve. And again, the valuation is much more on a higher side. 
so you have to keep this in mind guys okay now let us talk about the roe are uh, mainly roe so roe of almost all the companies doing good is good even roe uh, we have to see for irfc that is almost you can say uh, roe is almost so uh, 1.3 so that is okay 1.3 it not be great nahi hai. anything about 2 is great price to book value for irfc is almost four times so thoda expensive hai comparatively but yes 1.3 is not so great but roe unka 13.7 which is on a good side okay 15 ho to bahut acha hai but 13.7 is there rest all the data of roe roc of all the other companies other than irfc which you compare to are in a comfort zone koi problem nahi ha tax mein ko ka you have to understand roe is 5.7 roc is 10.6 wah thoda on a lower side hai but tax mein ko honestly uh, is able to deliver your profitability in sales much much better way compared to all other companies and uh, when we talk about debt to equity and all that is everything is under control for all these companies okay so now when we talk about all these uh, see uh, overall uh, most of them are small cap small cap also some are large cap but overall when we talk about uh, these stocks guys these stocks has great potential nothing denying on that part okay they have a great potential because railway is going to grow for next maybe decade to decade one of the cheapest mode of transportation government focus will be there so inka scope sabse bada hai okay when we and why why i telling you that why the things are much much better at this level also the reason i tell you because they uh, if you see the order book they have it's very good if i see the order book here account for all these companies no uh, when i talk about rail rvnl they have a order multiple of 4.91 times compared to sales turnover pure saal ka samajh lo turnover aapka 20000 crore hai currently it is around 20800 crore for rvnl their order book is almost 83000 crore is almost 4.1 times when we talk about econ it is 2.1 times when we talk about tax mein ko rail three times when we talk about tita garadel 8.6 times jupiter wagon 3.9 times of course irfc irctc we cannot see like that rights almost 2.5 times so all the companies has a great order book what it shows that visibility is there from here ki unko tension nahi hai ki bhai order aayenge nahi aayenge unko order aa rahe already order book mein hai again this are all mostly everyone is a psu companies so kya hai hota hai ki competitor itna jaldi aata nahi hai is sector mein no? because already license is or uh, given you know it's not easy to come into this sector so they have one type of you can say a monopoly type of thing ke yes wa unko ek fayda hai and they have a very very good order book now comes the execution capacity how is the capacity so capacity is there currently but they have to enhance their capacity if they really want to uh, no fulfill this order book of almost you can i told you know two times three times order book is there for most of the companies they have to bring with the expansion of capacity and deliver the things see the thing is kya hota hai ki order book aapke paas hoti hai but if you are not able to execute fast no your profitability is not going to go and when your valuation is elevated like this the way i told you it may happen that it may start going down the stock price may start going down so they have to come up with the enhanced uh, capacity and they have to execute much more faster because order is going to come railway system is going to grow india is going to depend on railway a lot so yaha koi problem nahi aane wali the problem is their execution the way it was in defense same way it is here also the main thing is are they are able to execute because over the years guys they have not got they got the order but last 3 years 4 years it's like no it's a big volume coming to them and how they are able to uh, no fulfill that that is the main thing you have to understand here so guys when we talk about all this so guys just spoken about the current thing what is the future and no what is the order book and all this, just to make you understand of where they are standing but when i when i see closely all these company as i told you that engineering company like tax mein ko tidagra jupiter wagons they are much more in a better position compared to construction company like rail rv and all or econ because of the various factors i told and this is where the in this engineering companies we have a 
little bit comfort i am not that they are perfectly all right and you can just go and buy maybe they may go down little bit because market is not so great but i think at a lower level it gives you an opportunity to get into this type of stock again not a recommendation guys do your own research before uh, analyzing uh, before investing again i don't hold any of these stocks guys i have to give disclaimer because of sebi rule and uh, my clients may be holding then i don't know but as that you have to keep in mind irfc uh, again um, uh, a stock which has gone up a lot and uh, nbfc but still i'll be a little bit concerned about that nothing wrong in the stock but wo hi hai ki how they are going to manage again the <coughs> interest rate cut is going to happen but the main thing is they are getting the funding directly from the government so their cost of growing is much more lower side so that will be benefiting but iictc i am not too much sure because the problem is some of in some of the companies as i told you you know government already get it, go, getting into it like IR, iictc you know is was like a golden egg uh, okay wo hand jo golden egg deti hai na but they try to kill the moose only see basically government you know unhone beech mein you know that you no know, they try to interfere in Interf- uh, give uh, provide an interference in the irtc iscc operations and usme kya hua baad mein stock kafi gir gaya so that is the risk always that the government interference may come in the future in any of this company that may be a biggest risk otherwise so they have all the ingredients you know to grow over the time the only thing is you have to understand don't just blindly invest in the railway stock no in the last show i have spoken about the eight stocks and spoken about all the stocks in much more in detail to make you understand if you are not able to understand go through this audio again but please keep this point which i have spoken to you and then only invest okay so again do your own research before investing guys if you la- hope you like this video. if you like it do like it share it and subscribe to our channel if you have any question related to any stock and sector put it in the comment box okay for sure and do check it our stock recommendation services and do attend our free webinar where i am trying to make you understand this how we are doing research in much more at a deeper level okay so thank you very much for joining and i'll be seeing you soon in the next video bye bye